Here we are with another Mrs. Vac Lab Live. I think this is now episode 17. Jeez, so many of these. And she's got two machines she has never touched before. Now she's familiar with vacuums because I think she's probably run as many as I have, which would be probably close to 100. So we have this new, um, this was a uh, Curb Fine Shark. It's in great shape now. And also a Curb Fine Eureka the Capture. So both are bagless. Uh, the Capture I think we're gonna use, it's really big and heavy, down on the first floor. So she's not gonna go underneath much. This rotator true pet comes apart. So it's got a lift away function. So take it away, Mrs. Lab. Arr. Arr. <laughs> we're gonna start with the shark first. It's too heavy already. <laughs> yes, that is very oh my heavy. Gosh. <laughs> yes, it is unbelievably heavy. It's a monster vacuum. <clears throat> okay, so she's going to toss it into, into my closet. Now, she has not done anything with these, but she should be generically familiar with how to use these things. Mm. <clears throat> One plug? Um, yes, I, I think so. Yep, that is one long plug. I'll be right back. Yep, and it should make it into the oh. middle of our house outlet. Oh, yeah. Did all I right, shake, all? shake it, baby, shake it. Well, I managed to get it all. All right, you got, did you get a knot? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, all right. I so, didn't do it. Yep. Now, I will say, <clears throat> this particular shark has three positions. Well, once you turn it on. One's going to be easiest to push on carpet, one's going to be a little more difficult to push on carpet, and one's going to turn the brush roll completely off, so not really so much use for a carpet. So I want you to try them both. Now, um, where it's set right now is going to be the easiest to push on carpet. If you put it to the middle position, that one's going to be stronger, but it may be more difficult to push and maneuver. And then this one is hard floor. So, mm -hmm. so start there and flip it around and tell us all what you think. Yep. Oh, great. Oh. Yep. There it goes. Oh, it's yep, it swivels. Okay. <laughs> One minute in, she's done. I'm done. <coughs> well, it's not very light, that's for sure. No, it's not our lightest shark at all. All right, let's find the other speed. All right. Yep. So in the middle. So what do you think? It takes off and you go forward. <laughs> 
Oh, it's got a lot of agitation. Carpet grip. Okay, now here's where you put it in lift away mode. Can't get under. All right. Uh -huh. Move along. Nothing to see. <laughs> Let's see if you remember how to do this. All right, how do we do the lift away mode? We're going to assume that lift away. Ha, Ooh, it, it says lift away. It's got a button. Well, for you all, it says, I don't know. It, it says, says. Oh, that upside down. Oh, there we go. We've separate, we have separation. I guess I gotta take the board off. Yeah. Now, if you don't hold the whole bin, it will indeed fall over, unfortunately. That's just kind of what happens. <clears throat> so we just lay it down. Yeah, because otherwise it will fall over. Yep. <laughs> oh, now it's very light. Oh, of course. All right, here we go. Here we go. Under the bed. Oh, and it takes off. <laughs> yep. Now the fun part, putting it back together. I didn't realize that this came off of there and gave oh. me, it was easier to use once it popped oh, off. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it literally fell off and I'm like, oh, I forgot that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we got it. Wow. I think we got it. Yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. It's an upright and a canister, kind of. Here in the face. All right, back to where we were. Time to put it in lift away. Now the question is, can you separate it while the power is still on, or is it better to turn it off? Well, I, I guess for safety reasons, turn it off. But okay. I mean, people who I was uh, curious, just people who are in a hurry can certainly separate it with the power on. See, I didn't realize that that separated oh. until I pulled it and it yeah. popped off all by itself <laughs> and gave me more room to work. Now you got a lot of things to go under the bed and the dressers and the other pieces. Okay, here we go.
That doesn't go under as much as you think. Too bad but... the handle doesn't twist so you could because I can't get down low enough. Right. That's blocked, okay. Yep, doesn't quite make it. Okay. Well, I get underneath this dresser. Am I going to catch any cords? No, there, there aren't any. Got that dresser too. Yeah, I'll get over there. Oh, okay. This is so much fun. I want to do it again. <laughs> Good. Sarcasm. Uh. <laughs> So you're using it in the uh, lower power mode, right? Yep. All, yeah, all the way up? Okay. Uh, put it in the middle just for a little while and see. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's a little harder to pull that. Going forward, it's, well, it doesn't pull as easy as uh, it does on the other one. It's not horrible. All I really had to do with this machine, after I rescued it from the curb, was just clear the clog, and you can see that in the playlist for this machine, and just wash everything out. The brush roll bearings appear to be good, and the motor bearings also appear to be good. Time to convert again. <laughs> Becoming a pro at that. Yep, she is.
Okay, down the hallway we go. Look how fast. Yep, I think she's become the expert at it. Didn't take too long either. This isn't the only lift away we have. I think, I think this is the third lift away. It makes carpet lines, oh yeah. So this machine did better than average on the whole house carpet cleaning, where we clean a thousand square feet and then we measure it. Creaky plastic. <laughs> lots and lots of creaky plastic. That one you left the hose connected. I forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it didn't seem to slow you down much.
hurt some hurt some chunky bits. not be recommended to go over grapes so well. Yeah. Hi Rosie. Yeah we have some storage stuff under the bed so we're not going to go underneath those. Cords are all the way at the back of the wall, so. On the far corner, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'll just I'll start here and just say stop. <laughs> okay. Right. I can't see them. I mean, I can see something. But yeah. I can see them. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'm good the rest of the way, though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Look at all look at all that dirt accumulation. I don't think you can go under the bookshelf. No. No, it's too big. Too tall. Okay. So we'll just finish up in here. pretty far underneath that, doesn't it? Well, it was close.
I can look at that. I think you got it. Well, I mean, you, it goes as far in as until you until you hit this. I thought the other dresser though, it's, it's vibrating on the top. It's oh, all right. Stuff. I didn't see that. I didn't get it underneath that. Okay. Yeah, it's Same dresser. See what do we have here? As far as pickup, as far as we can tell. Well, it's kind of cloudy in there. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I think there's a bunch somewhere around, somewhere around there. Uh, continues over to this side. So I mean, it, it's filled up the bin somewhat. Um, how about we take a look at the hair wrap? It's going to be flawless. <laughs> yeah. So this is Lab's two foot long oh, hair. Yeah. I can see it here. Yep. <laughs> that is a pile of stuff. Now, I think the last time I vacuumed was Wednesday, and this is Monday. So that's just what we pick up in just a few days, less than a week. And, of course, got to remember to clean that out. Okay, so let's pack this dude up and go check out the, I don't know, Torpedo Eureka Green. Well, you get to carry that one. Yep. Got to unplug. Yep. Take a different view here. Yeah, not as much as oh. it appears to be, I guess. Yeah. Yep. A lot of cord. Love long cords. Longer the better. Oop. Lost. Mm. We lost a loop. Longer the better. <laughs> yep. Okay. Here we go. Get the green beast. I'm gonna take this downstairs. Go ahead and get the green. Oh, I need to get the green as well. Okay. All right. That's why I said green. All right. Put this off to the side. I'll get the green one too. Do da, do da. I'm not carrying that beast on the All right. She says she doesn't want to. Oh, that sucker's too heavy. Deal with that. Yeah, it is It is heavy. It's well over 20 pounds. I will pass. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> but it's got nice big wheels, just like the shark. There she is. <laughs> oh, 
Mm -hmm. So I want her to use some of the other special doodads. One of which is right there with the handle and the other one is right there. The hose will plug in. It's going to be a completely different experience. I'm so excited. I think <laughs> the only thing I did with this one was the brush roll bearings needed help. I regreased them and I put a new belt on and of course the obligatory filter clean. And that's all I remember doing to this. So this was a curb find too, all in our neighborhood. Okay, take it away. Oh, I see a power button. I'm like, I don't know how to use this one. Step one, how to turn it on. Well, step one, there's no cord holder anywhere, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you could um, nope. you, you could tuck it in right here underneath the hose. Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah, it, it's heavy. <laughs> yes. Barely. <laughs> yeah, it's not as bright as all those LEDs, that's well, for sure. It's not down here, it's, it's up high. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I can't even see where it's not shining anywhere around Yeah. So, yeah, all those LEDs uh, do a better job. Five or six inches. Yeah, it's got kind of a, a high pitched squeal <laughs> that, the, believe it or not, the shark did not have. So. Yes, that, that handle weight is over four pounds, I think. Well, the other one kind of did my arm in. Yeah. She's going. I she go goes in circles. Edge. I go around the edge and then I go to my knee. You know that? Yep. She goes in circles.
Oh yeah, this is where um, our Rosie has all of her dog treats in a bucket. So there's gonna be uh, chew bits. Use other stuff. That's right. You can definitely see the swirling mass of fibrous material. I'm going to guess that. We should uh, take a look at the filters too when we're done. Yep. There you go. There's that. There's a hose. Yep. Okay. She's so going to use the I don't know what tiger paw or something it says on the front. Power paw. That's it. Power paw. So safe for my couch, right? Oh yeah. That's fine. Uh huh. And you can get more hose out of it than that if you uh, unhook it from the bottom. <clears throat> See, it's still hooked on the bottom. Yes, I am. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Ah, crazy cord. Get out. Thank you. Yeah, I got plenty of cord. All right, so she doesn't want to unhook from the bottom. Now, that's um, upside down. <laughs> well, that's just the way I stuck it on. Yeah. Okay, all right. It twists. <laughs> wow, who knew? Yep. I don't think I'll have to. <laughs> well, it's doing its thing. Kind of. Yeah, because I saw something on the cushion, and now it's gone. Yep. More hose required. Yeah, oh, here, here, watch. Here, here you go. So, you pull it, all right? And then go ahead and pull it down. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it makes less of a struggle than what right. we have with the stretches. Now we have more hose. Yay! Obviously, this uh, air power tool slows down significantly. <laughs> it leaves nice cleaning lines. Whether it cleans well or not is a different story. She's gonna do the whole couch. Well, if I've gone this far. <laughs> All right. Well, it does leave great lines. Yeah. Yeah. It spins. Yeah. It's got some real bristles on it too. Yeah, they're they're pretty long. Yeah. I mean they're not they're they're not soft soft, but they're not hard. But yeah, they're not medium. spinning as fast, I thought, oh be like yeah. <laughs> saving my skin off. Okay. Okay. One tool reattached. Now we got to rejigger the hose. So you pull the little plastic flap out a little, just a little bit. We're and good. Then Let's then go. You can okay. All right. Done. <laughs> <laughs> can she do it without breaking a nail? Almost there. 
Oh, we got well, it. I can't see because all this yeah. hair gets into <laughs> yeah. my look. I can't see nothing. That's it. Blame the hair. Now I gotta fix the hair because. Yep. Yeah. Now we got its uh, big party piece to uh, go and try. So you, you could. I mean, since we probably don't have anything that's dusty, you can just like fake dust. I'm going to first figure out how to get it out of there. Oh, there. Now, it does one other thing that I didn't know about <coughs> until I read this part. Twist and pull. Right there. <laughs> it's got an extension. Yep, go ahead. I don't think this has been dusted as long as we've lived here. No. <laughs> I have no idea. Not by me, anyway. Yep. And now we're going to spin. Coming out a different angle here. Stay. <clears throat> the dust bunnies fly. Stay. <coughs> See the dust going off of it, that's for sure. Oh, oh, well, I better stop bumping it because there's plenty on that <laughs> duster. Oh, I think I just saw a little poof go well, down. Well, anytime I bang it, it's coming off the duster. Oh, okay, duster. all right. You know what? I think I'll clean it for. Oh, oh. Can you see it? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was that was pure yellow. And it is not any longer. Yeah, give, just keep twisting it and pull it. There you go. Oh, oh I just saw a big poof. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. And then you have to retwist. All right. There you click. Go. That's it. All right. What well, she figured out pretty quick. So I stick Okay, so it let's back turn around in. so the audience can see. Oh, look how there's so much uh, dust in the air. Okay, so you turn the vacuum on, and there's a big silver knob. Oh, you see so much dust in the air. Huge silver knob, as big as your hand. By the bottom of the dust. Oh. Yep. Do I have to hold it? Yep. Twist it all the way. There you go. Now it's de-dusting. Oh, okay. so yep. Gotta... Yep. It's de-dusting it. That's it. So that's how it works kind of messy but it works and there you go it's not like kind of brownish anymore so you can well, do more since i'm here okay well this is going to be a really long video get get well, lots of views i guess i need something to stand on i want i wanted to get inside the bowl of the light because i guarantee oh. that that's covered in dust yeah i'm just not tall enough to get up there I wanted to get inside that bowl, but I can't. Well, I, I can take the bowl off. Well, I'll get some of it off. Okay. There, how many videos on YouTube show people using that and it's fully extended mode? Oh. <laughs> Note to self. Yeah. Put the collar back. There. Well, the collar <laughs> flipped off. Yep. Snap it on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. A couple of neat features with this machine for sure. Okay. Wonder if there's any dust. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a little sniff and go, achoo! <laughs> well. Can't say it. I don't see anything coming off of it. Yeah, no, no it, it should have gotten it. It, it got it real yeah. well. It spins it, and it's got a little bit of airflow in there. It's enough to scrape everything off. All righty. Okay, so last I'm couple done. last couple rooms. Oh, yeah. there's more? Yeah, a couple rooms left. So do you want to do pink first and then finish up I in brown? I always do pink first. Okay, all right. Yep, we have a pink dining room. Okay. 
watch it. She wanted it pink, so she got it pink. It's not pink. Oh, what do you call it? Raspberries and cream. Is that the name <laughs> of the color? Uh-huh. I lost the button. Power. Oh. On the other side. Here. Oh, on that side. Yep. <laughs> By the way, that's a wear spot on the carpet. It's perfectly, exquisitely clean. We just, well, run through that spot on the carpet a lot. At least over the last 20 years. It's not dirty. to take care of the carpet dents. <laughs> you be the judge. Yeah? Yeah. Yep, so. <laughs> yep, it is. And that's an old brush roll in that thing. An old vacuum. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You did a great job with the chair dents. I hope you like long videos because this one's uh, going to be a nice long one. He made me do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <I'm hoping> really. <laughs> you might have a second uh, position on the foot switch to flatten it a oh. bit more. Yep, there oh. you go. Nope. No, a little. Uh, yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, it's, it can't go perfectly flat.
That's a lot, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to move you back a little bit just so we're not in the in the light that comes in from the windows at the moment. Not too much. Okay. So, yeah. Completely worn out, I imagine. Yeah. Probably had to change wrists multiple times on, on both vacuums. So, um, well, I guess pick one and start talking about it. Uh, which one do you want to start out with? And then uh, likes and dislikes. Both are heavy. <laughs> yeah, neither, neither one are light in the wrist at all. They, they both get a, a very heavy category as for me, at least for me. Um, I do like this one. I like the swivel on the head, you know, for easier getting into things and around stuff. And I guess this isn't horrible as far as a lift off and being able to go under things. It's fairly easy to use, so... Not much I can say that I dislike, except for it is heavy on the arm after a while. Yeah, that, one, that one is heavy. Okay. So do you consider the lift away feature to be a plus or a minus for this shark? Oh, I would have to say plus. Okay. So if for some reason we had purchased this new and paid a few hundred dollars for it, you would uh, use it once in a while in its lift away I'd, mode. I'd be content with it, yes. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Next. As for this thing, big green torpedo. What can I say? It's green. Yeah, it's green. Is that good or bad? All right, all right it seems to be bad. Green's not my color. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely a big torpedo, if that's what you want to call it. But yeah. Yeah, it has a couple of neat features. I mean, the dusting thing is really nice because, hey, I can dust and vacuum all at the same time. Not, not a bad uh, deal. Fantastic. Clean couches while you're at it. Okay. But it is heavy. It is very yes, heavy. Yes, yes, it is. I the heaviest. definitely, if you were not here, I would not. Yeah, I would not be carrying this up the stairs. I mean, that's well. There's a handle here, but let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I would not trust myself to carry that up the stairs. Right. I think the carry weight was over 21 pounds, but you'd have to take a look at my uh, videos called the heaviest, yeah. and you can see um, this one. I think makes that category. Oh, uh, let's turn um, the oh. Eureka Capture over and take a look at the hair wrap pickup. Now, down on the first floor, we don't have nearly as much hair. Yeah. Easier said than done. Yeah, okay, just tilt it over. Push the button. Oh, you can just tilt it over. It'll be fine. Push the button. Okay, I'll push the button. Okay, <laughs> I've now pushed the button. She's going to try to pick it up far enough. I'm All right. not picking it up. Okay, I just yeah. it up. here we go. So there's notably less hair. However, on the first floor, there's notably less hair to pick up. Oh yeah. So look, that's what happens on all plastic vacuums because the hair is yeah. statically charged. Around yeah, and it's all, all over everything. And it'll be the same on, on anything. So mm -hmm. I've shown this lots of times. That's pretty funny that it bunches up, not around here, you know, this uh, be the front wheels where you'd have like a height adjustment. Normally it kind of tends to collect in this area. It's all the way in the back. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so you now know. It's on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. So a couple thing, couple more things. Um, matter of business here. Uh, so these two machines, this is a comparison. They are both upright bagless machines. They are from completely different bagless eras. Which one would you pick? You have to pick one. Yep, the Shark NV750. This one's easier for me to. Well, I mean, it's yep. still heavy. <laughs> right. Yeah, so it's easier, uh, lighter, and uh, Let's see, going up the you stairs. can turn the brush roll off. Yeah, I mean, I can yep. carry that easy up the stairs versus that one, because all the weight on this one is falling forward. And that I, that's right there is pinching my arm and pulling on my shoulder. Sure, that's, okay. That's not for me. Now we need to do the dirt dumps, but I want you to, on the green torpedo there, to not only do the dirt dump, but I'll show you how to get the... Uh, top yellowish pre-motor filter off and we'll see just how dirty the well you know what? let's take a look at the pre-motor filters in both machines <laughs> so both machines the pre-motor filters were cleaned before this session and we'll see what we get so early bagless machine okay that's the pickup Whoopee! All right, we expected that. All right, no big deal there. Now, all right, yeah, go ahead. How do we, how do we remove that bin? 
<laughs> I remember you were looking around one some time ago when we first got one of these. And it, it is kind of a trick. I mean, you don't really see it. No, not, not there. No, not there either. You need to get the whole bin off. Oh, not, not the lift away. Not oh. the lift away. No. Dust cup release. Ooh. There we go. Oh. Okay, got it. All right. That's it. But I can't see inside it. Yeah. How do you look inside? Well, then you can push the top and the bottom release mechanisms and you can see inside. Oh. Yeah, of course, the bottom one will oh, there you go. Re you release the dirt. There you go. Okay. All right. Now let's look at the, let's look at both pre-motor filters. So the shark one just pulls up and that is essentially squeaky clean. I mean, literally, that is, there, there's nothing there. Well, maybe one hair. That's about it. Okay, hey. now here's the pre-motor filter on the Eureka. So if we pull that out, and there's more stuff in there, but I just wanted to show you this. Oh my. This was looking like this. This is what it should look like. This is what it started out like. Now it looks like that. So it means that the cyclonic efficiency here versus, well, there is very different. So we can do the uh, dirt dumps now, and you can pick a machine. You've got to put the filters back in, obviously, and then suck them back up with your favorite hose. <laughs> well, that one, we'll just actually go and uh, we'll vacuum that filter off. We, oui, huh? Well, with, with the shark, obviously. You don't want to do it with the Eureka. So I guess dump the Eureka. That's right, right on the carpet. <laughs> And then you put the bin back in. Well, I, I can, you can leave it out. It doesn't matter. Because we have to put it back in at some point in time. I just wanted to neaten up the floor space here. Don't want to give conflicting directions. And then you can do the shark dump. Yeah. Yeah, you get a bit more there. But that's from the, remember, that's from the oh. second floor. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I wanted to bang it, but it'll close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, never mind. Okay, now, after you get that reseated, uh, go ahead and just use the very top of the hose handle from the shark to suck everything back up again and clean the filter that you're stepping on. I'm not stepping on anything. Yeah. Now that, okay, good. Now you have to plug it in, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! You require too much work. Yeah. <laughs> Here, plug it behind you. Okay. Well, I'm all tangled here, That's though. Fine. Yeah, oh. just do the, the big, big cord dump. Yeah. I did the cord dump. There we go. That's the bottom. Okay, we now have shark power. Get it the right way. Okay, fantastic. Oh, well, like, where's yeah. the, I'm like, the power button. Yeah, the, the power button's gone, because now it's in your hand. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Now, if you want maximum, you got positions here. Yeah. Oh, that should be, yeah, that's maximum. So don't suck up the filter? Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you can Maybe. use it on the filter. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm wondering how close can I get before it starts to grab it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, that's a lot of suction. Filter. I, oh. Yeah. Go ahead. With and, this? Yeah, with that. Just go ahead and put it right on it. Dude, it's yeah. gonna get sucked up. No, it won't. Yeah, it will. Okay, here. All right, <laughs> I will. I will hold it. It's okay. Get she's up. she's worried about it. Okay, go ahead and turn it on. Woo. Now just move it around. Take your other hand. And, uh, no, take your other <laughs> hand. Move it. Uh, my hand's on the camera. I only have one hand. There you go. That's it. Now we got it. Please make me touch the dirt. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much what you have to do every session 
after using that green Eureka. I'm not a lefty, so this is making yep. it pretty complicated. I like to feel the air sucking uh, on the yep, inside. That's right. Well, I'm glad I'm recording this at 60 frames a second. A lot of action here. Yeah. Oh, do we want to vacuum up what's on the bottom of the, the rug plate of the Eureka? <laughs> it's not me making the video this long. Yeah. See? Don't blame While me. we're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need more than two hands. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Push the button. <laughs> yeah. I can't do the button and bend it at the same time. Now there is a dusting brush. Oh yeah. Now, don't they make she a got brush? it. She nailed it. Yeah, it's just a it's like a friction fit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now it, it does swivel. It points that way. Yeah, it swivels. I know, but I was yeah. Oh, there we go. Now it's straight. Yeah. I was like, it's, it's crooked. <laughs> Check the bottom. I'm going to tilt it over. Yeah, not so much down here for hair. Well, a little tiny dog hair. Get Obviously, hair yeah, your hair is still there. We got to we got to take that off later. Yeah, you like the uh, power button on the handle? Isn't that convenient? Yeah, except for when I go, where is the power button? Right, we're not it, we're not it, really it used to that. It's supposed to be there. Oh, yeah. it's in my hand. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of nice to have that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so last task. See <sighs> if you can, well, put the shark back together, but see if you can put that filter back in the Eureka. I quit. <laughs> I'm done. Bye. Yep. See ya. She's walking away. <laughs> Okay, so that one first. Yeah. He thought this was going to be something hard for me to do, yeah. huh? All right, fantastic. Yay. That's one. Okay, one done. Well, I've taken this one apart enough times today. Hopefully, I can put it right back together. Well, I should do it right there. And I see I'll try to do it backwards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Oh, I do need to we, clean the carpet because of oh, the dump yes. we did. That's right. There's going to be stuff on the carpet. More stuff on the carpet. More vacuuming. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you're on hard floor. I was like, it's not moving. Oh, that was a lot, <laughs> but we have all the, uh, well, at least all the carpet vacuuming done. So, hey, thanks for watching another series of Mrs. Vac Lab Live.
Stay tuned for more.